Houston. We're out here in Friendswood, Texas, searching for a Texas A&M ring. Our client, Dylan, uh, was enjoying the afternoon with some of his family. Uh, beautiful place. And playing some baseball with some of the kids. And uh, Dylan said he had put that Texas A&M ring in his pocket. And somewhere in this area, there was some running and baseball playing going on. And he believes that that ring fell out of his pocket somewhere in this area. Now, they've spent hours searching the grass, looking for that ring. We would think it would be visible, but we also know once they drop in there, they can be nearly impossible to find. So we're going to set up a couple of reference points, the, the pole, some of the trees, and uh, grid the area out and see what we can come up with. All right, stand by. All right, so we've been working a uh, north to south grid. We're just kind of using the, the trees, the poles, some of these other trees as a reference, kind of cutting a pie pattern actually. So again today, uh, my favorite machine, the CTX 3030, uh, running about a negative three on auto sensitivity. And uh, let's see if we can get you a rating on this. Solid 1243, 46, a little bit jumping 1446, but definitely on the 46 range, 44. And as we drop down, we can see it. I've already kind of unearthed it a little bit, but sitting way down at the base. So this is basically what you end up with. They walked this for several hours searching for it. It'd be a really difficult find. So down there in the bottom of the pile, Texas A&M ring. I believe that was a 2015, but uh, nice setting in it, beautiful. All right, let's get it back to the owner, stand by.